Celtic 2, Rangers 1. It's the latest scoreline in the derby, just gone. A absolutely gigantic derby anyways, the old firms. You know, top two minimum, I'll allow the River Plate Boca argument, but for me it's the best. You know, so much in a football of stuff off the pitch. And, you know, that one had even more, because if Rangers had won, which they didn't, it would have been equal points with Celtic Hamner. Toughest opponents, Kilmarnock away especially, you know, we went out in this League Cup there. They also lost in the league there, so Rangers would have been favourites if they had won, which they didn't. And if Celtic won, which obviously happened, they would basically be the champions, beating their rivals Rangers, which is what happened. They moved six points clear, with now only two games to go, so only six points available. Basically the champions after beating your rivals. Absolutely brilliant from the boys. The records in the derby this year have been brilliant. Should have won all four if it wasn't for a late goal from uh, Rangers. Celtic should have won all four games and still, you know, 10 points from a possible 12 against Rangers and it should have been 12 out of 12 points. And, you know, the game recently just gone. That should have been a cricket score. That should have been a remarkable, memorable game to look back on with an absolute vintage Rodgers, if anything, more than the five ones. It, it, like, Sterling and Butland alone probably stopped five goals. And then plus all the chances that Celtic missed that should have ended up in the back of the net, that could have been a cricket score by far. We got the win, that's all that matters to basically be champions. It's not all going to be about Celtic, we've got two Rangers fans, Kyle and George, will quickly go debate their points first here, and then we'll touch on the red card. So, we'll start with Kyle. First half was terrible. We'd barely get our own half. And when we did, we kept giving the ball away. Lundstrom easily man of the match for Celtic. Second half was better when the players that should have started came on. Still missing vital chances and in the 75th minute, I knew the game was over. Only three players get pass marks, Butland, Sterling and Dessels. Um, I think Butland and Sterling should get pass marks for Rangers. Dessels I thought was terrible out with the goal, which it would have been Morello's level of comicalness if he had missed. Uh, it was just poor defending from Celtic to not get the ball away. And yeah, you know, he got his derby goal eventually that's not chopped off. But yeah, Lundstrom, you know, he had a disaster. I'll, mess I'll mention him more with George's comment as we'll move on to that now. And he said, very similar to Kyle mentioning about the lineup, Clement got the lineup wrong again. Uh, sticking with Lawrence slash Lundstrom and not sticking someone on McGregor, which allows him to control the game. Poor. Sterling and Jack Butland, it would have been worse without them, and I agree with that. Lundstrom is a, I'm not going to say that, but obviously not nice words. If we had Raskin in his place and 11 men, it could have been a different game. I feel Celtic were struggling to hold on towards the end. Celtic obviously had pressure towards the end because Rangers had to win that game or the title was over because even a draw it would just be a, a title win later obviously the title wasn't won in the derby but one point from two games and it's over so you know th they need to win so I expected that because I, I said in a prediction in another uh, DM message about how Celtic would do that so I said right now predicting 3-1 full time with it 2-1 for ages and then us to get a really late goal to kill it off. And to be fair, I wasn't too far wrong, and I just should have made it 3-1, and it should have been that. So my prediction was nearly bang on, out with, I didn't see Celtic missing so many sitters. But it went how I expected it, you know, I wasn't expecting a 5-1, but I was expecting it to be more comfortable than a lot of people were making it out to be, because I think that's a very poor Rangers team, out with Sterling and Butland. I think Sterling is by far their best player. A lot of people say Butland's their best player. I think Sterling by far is their best player. He's good in multiple positions for them. And he's maybe not the most dangerous player. You know, we've seen when he went right mid. That wasn't dangerous at all. But defensively, I think he's so much better than their Hall of Fame captain right back. You know, Sterling and Butland stopped that from being 5-1. And if they two weren't there, that could easily have been 10-1. That, like... I go on about vintage Rodgers, he would have scored he would have scored way more than that 5-1 games that happened in his first spell. And, you know, it was poor that we let Rangers back in the title race, but great character shown to take advantage after Rangers slipping up against Ross County and Dundee. And to get 10 points for a possible 12 in the Derby days, great character from the boys. And we've still got the red card to debate, which isn't really a debate, but... Kenny Miller has went a bit viral after trying to say it's not a red card and it's a yellow but 
it's a red card all day. If anything, it's more of a double red than it is a yellow. In real time, I thought it was a yellow. I thought it was just a classic. I've made a mistake. Let me go hit my rival opponent to try and win some fans back over. But after seeing replays and stills, that is without a doubt a red card. Reckless, put off the ground, studs up, right on to the back of Alistair Johnson. That is a red card without a shadow of a doubt. It is just a guaranteed red, no doubt in my mind. But yeah, I think it was silly from an experienced player. If, for example, McCausland, or whatever his name is, the right way on the young lad, if he had made a mistake like that, once coming on and making a bad tackle, I could understand it from a young player's point of view. You know, it's an easy mistake for a young lad, but Lundstrom is one of the more experienced players in that Rangers squad, and to make that sort of mistake in a game as big as this, very poor, and it's without a doubt a red card. But yeah, we've still got one more Derby day to come this season, the Cup Final on the 20th of May, Joe Hart's retirement match, and what a retirement match that'll be. Absolutely no rest for him towards the end of his career as he looks to go out with a cup double. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.